my name is Shiva Ojarudi. I'm a real estate agent with City to City Real Realty, and I'm here with Parman Jar from Dominion Lending. Today, we are going to go over some of the uh, steps that you need to take in purchasing your home. Um, the first thing I'm, I'll be discussing, the first thing you would do is basically speak to me about what you're looking to purchase. Is it a single family home, detached, or is it going to be a townhouse or a condo? And uh, what is it that you're willing to um, purchase? So what area does it need to be? And then from there on, uh, we're just going to be uh, speaking about what are the uh, powers that you would have about uh, mortgage. So what are your mortgage needs and how Parm can help you out. So go ahead, Parm. Yeah, so we talk about affordability after we know kind of what you want to see if you can afford something in that range. Um, usually affordability is done up by lenders. Uh, they call it a, a GDS-TDS ratio. Uh, basically, how much of your mortgage can go towards your income. Uh, the rule is 39%. So 39% of your mortgage can be a part of your income, right. okay? Mm -hmm. um, the, the other one is you look at your total debt. So you're including your credit cards, your car payments, all of the above. Okay. It can go up to about 44% of your income. So okay. if you make $1,000 a month, you're looking at 39% going towards your home mm -hmm. and 44% going towards um, all of your debts. Nice. The second thing is um, we look at how much down payment you have. Okay. So we, the, the rule is uh, for the first $500,000, you're looking at 5%. Mm -hmm. Anything over 500000 to under a million, you're looking at 10% okay. of that amount. So for example, right. 600000 mm -hmm. you'd be looking at 25000 for the first five, okay. and then 10000 for the remaining 100. Great. What are the next steps? That what is it that you need? So <coughs> now you got the uh, home that you want, and now we got the mortgage and the pre-approval, and then we go shopping, and we put in an offer. You purchase your home. What are the next things that um, they need to look for? Well, so even before we get to that point, we start looking at uh, other costs that are involved. Okay. Uh, the other costs would be anything um, like, for example, your lawyer fees. Mm -hmm. That would be a big one. Yes. Uh, home inspection. For which sure. uh, which you would be yes. doing with them yeah. that's a cost as well mm -hmm. uh, the other cost you would have uh, if you weren't let's say a first time home buyer would be the land transfer tax yes uh, which for about five hundred thousand is about eight thousand mm -hmm. dollars if you are a first time home buyer uh, you get that exempt so you don't pay that um, eight thousand so anything under five hundred thousand you get a full exemption and then five to uh, five twenty four you get a partial exemption that's amazing. Um, and then the next step is basically going getting your uh, law uh, getting uh, in touch with a lawyer and also um, your home insurance and basically that's all you need right yeah and then and usually Shiva you have the team and everything ready you got yes. the mortgage you got the lawyer you got the home inspection yes. so it's usually a very seamless uh, process it's very uh, communicated well amongst uh, all the professionals thank you very much have a wonderful day thank you